welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be making a complex called vanadyl acetylacetonate. Vanadyl acetylacetonate contains vanadium in the plus 4 oxidation state. We will achieve this by reducing vanadium 5 in the form of vanadium pentoxide using an acid. You will need to measure out 5 milliliters of distilled water, sulfuric acid, uh, really I don't have an idea of what amount you know to use because they didn't even include the amount in the synthesis which is honestly pretty stupid but uh, I'll put the uh, recommended amount uh, up on the screen right now. Uh, you will also need 2.5 grams of vanadium pentoxide, 12 milliliters of ethanol, and 6 milliliters of acetylacetone. Oh and you also need some uh, anhydrous sodium carbonate uh, about 20 grams would do you just fine. After you've weighed out all of your materials, go ahead and load them into a, at least I'm using, a 250 milliliter round bottom flask, two-necked. You only need to add the vanadium pentoxide, water, ethanol, and sulfuric acid. Do not add the acetylacetone or sodium carbonate yet. After the water, ethanol, and sulfuric acid have been added, you can go ahead and add your vanadium pentoxide. Next, set up a cool water condenser. Here, I'm just using an Allen condenser. Okay, so just found out my Allen condenser is broken and is leaking into the reaction mixture, so I'm going to have to use this one now. I have no idea what the name is for this, and it's the only working condenser I have currently. From here, you're going to go ahead and boil the mixture uh, until it reaches nice reflux for about 90 minutes. Uh, you're going to see a color change from the orange of the vanadium pentoxide to a darker color, uh, sort of like a green. And that's because uh, the colors of the vanadyl ion uh, is, is usually a blue, uh, but when it mixes with the, with the yellow of the vanadium pentoxide, it creates sort of a orangey green. So uh, I'll Go ahead and skip to uh, when 90 minutes or so is up. Okay, so it's pretty late, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, just finish the reflux and let it cool down and continue with the synthesis tomorrow morning. Okay, so it's the next day and I had to put my acetylacetone back, so i got to weigh that again, out again. <coughs> oh, fuck. Hang on. Okay, so now this is had about um, roughly, I don't know, 18 hours to cool, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, disassemble everything and uh, filter the solution or mixture or whatever. Uh, yeah, I can't help but noticing upon uh, disassembling all of this, uh, the smell of apples, which is probably uh, acetaldehyde. So, uh, yeah, cancer! <gasps> so, what we're left with in the flask is a dark blue-green solution. Actually, it looks sort of greenish on camera, but it's really dark blue uh, solution of vanadyl sulfate in a partial water ethanol. Uh, solution. Uh, so that's what that is. No idea what the fuck this is, or what the fuck this is, or 
Shit, I don't know what any of that shit is. Uh, but yeah, no, I mean... Uh, so yeah, just gonna filter this. I don't think there's any precipitate, but, you know. Better safe than sorry. Oh my god, that smells fucking rank. Oh my god, what is in there?! So while that's filtering, I'm gonna go ahead and measure out 150 milliliters or so of distilled water and add to it the 20 grams of anhydrous sodium carbonate. This is the neutralizing solution. Acetylastone, oops, acetylastone complexes can't really form under super basic or super acidic conditions, so you really need it to be about neutral. And this should do it. Okay. Now that uh, the solution is done filtering, we can go ahead and add with stirring the acetylacetone. If your solution turns red initially, don't worry. That's, uh, that's pretty usual. Uh, I, that happened to me last time. Um, if it doesn't, I guess that's also okay. Um, but just let this stir and let everything dissolve here uh, for a few minutes. I might put it in a hot water bath just to warm it up and get that acetylastone to dissolve faster. Which is probably what I'll do. So I'll go ahead and uh, skip when I'm done doing that. Okay, so now I have the sodium carbonate solution in a larger 500 milliliter beaker. Uh, when I add the uh, vanadium complex solution to this, it will neutralize the acid and simultaneously form our complex. Let me uh, quickly secure the uh, magnet and uh, or the stir bar, and we can uh, continue. Here we go. Go slowly. This will produce a lot. And I do mean a lot of carbon dioxide. This stir bar does not want to cooperate. Alright, it's almost all added. Nice blue color. Sorry about the bad lighting. I'm in an area of my lab where not really much light, so I apologize for that. I'll move to a brighter area pretty soon. Well, here it is after uh, everything's been added. It looks a little um, bluer on camera than it is in real life. For me, it's more of a teal color, or turquoise. So uh, now all I have to do is uh, filter it. I'm going to use a vacuum filter for this. Here's the final product, Vanadol Acetylastonate. I really enjoyed the synthesis. It was kind of a, I don't know, more unique one than uh, all the other acetylastonate syntheses. Um, nice, beautiful turquoise powder. Uh, when dried, it will uh, retain this color. I uh, actually have some in a dram vial here. Again, this is not the same color as it is in real life. It's much... Uh, or vibrant turquoise. It looks sort of blue here.
I don't know why. It's probably having something to do with the camera, but uh, yeah. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed. You can like and subscribe if you want to, and thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Oh, my God.